Why are they coming after us? Men like me will never be safe during the purge. What do they want? What they want is against God. But why do they want you? Because tonight, everything is legal. Do you realize what that means for a man like me? There's nowhere to run, Mr. Preacher Man. What do you want from me? You know what we want. The only thing we can't get any other day of the year in the state of Texas. Make us gay married. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't, don't, don't make me do it. Oh, don't, don't make me do it. Oh. Make our love complete, holy man. <sighs> oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Oh. By the power vested in me by the new Founding Fathers, I now pronounce you married. Are they kissing? Are they kissing? Yeah, 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 they are. Why? Why, why, why? why? Oh, God. Oh, they look so happy. Oh, I hate marriage equality. Oh, equal rights are the Scare easy. <laughs> like the scariest thing to me these days are those pictures of people from the late 1800s. <laughs> like back when the camera was first invented, but we probably shouldn't have been using it yet. <laughs> like the ones where they're just like standing there, blank stares, not smiling, like wearing the clothes they probably died in. <laughs> Like, they had to have known, right? Back then, they had to have known that they looked exactly like ghosts. <laughs> Just imagine, like, being a mom back then, like, trying to show off your child's photo. You just be like, oh, hey, Daniel, why don't you come over here, look at this photograph of little Abigail. Isn't she absolutely horrifying? <laughs> She looks just like her father, the devil. Yeah. I'm gonna go hide this in the wall. die, I would like to die in the early morning, I think. Because I think it'd just be a lot easier to deal with the finality of death 
in the morning, you know? Like, if you talked to me in the mid-afternoon, you were like, what if you never woke up again? I'd be like, but I'm so young, I still have potential. <laughs> but if you talked to me at like six in the morning and you were like, what if you never woke up again? I'd just be like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's worth how much my family's gonna cry. <laughs> It's almost time. You can't go. Don't leave me. I'm sorry. It's not my decision. But even after I'm gone, I'll always be there with you. When the breeze blows through your hair. When the birds sing to you in the morning. When you and Michael go and get ice cream and they give you that extra scoop of pistachio. I'm there with you. I love you. I love... I love... KG is beeping. You're alive. You just moved. Ah, uh, damn it. That would have been like the perfect land to go out on, too. I said it and I was just like, that'd be insane if I died, like, right now. Are you kidding me? You're just being dramatic? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. It's just... I want you to remember me. And remember my final words. Because you're the most important person to me in the whole world. And I want you to never forget that. Never forget... Uh, you're not dead. Okay, okay. You're right, I'm sorry. That was stupid. It's just because I love you so much. I just love you so... Oh. Absolutely not. No. Okay, Jesus Christ. You know what? This is my death, so maybe just don't be such a bitch about it. Oh, I'm being a bitch, am I? I hope there's no afterlife. And I hope that fucking kid comes out retarded. <laughs> Yeah, man, he mentioned I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, of wrestling. Actually, let me tell you this: uh, I could never get to sleep on a plane, just for whatever reason, can't do it, right? So I talked to one of my friends who's just a real cheapskate. Talk to this dude, and he goes, "Oh man, you don't need Xanax, Clonopin, any of that anti-anxiety shit. If you want to sleep on a plane, you know what you need: two Benadryl and a shot of whiskey." And uh, God damn, he was right. Uh, <laughs> so I took get to the airport. I'm waiting to get on the plane. I take the two Benadryl, take the little shot of Jack Daniels. And it starts to kick in right as we're boarding, right? And then all of a sudden, out of the corner of my left eye, sitting front row in first class on my plane, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> on my plane! And you can take a look at me and tell I'm a big fan. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I think Hogan could too. Because let me tell you something. Here's how Hulk Hogan flies. Like, if any of us were on a plane flying, we would just, you know, put our hands in our lap like this. Very simply. Hogan's arms are so huge, he can't put his hands together on his lap. So when Hogan flies, he just flies with two fists almost touching. Just the sternest expression, just a business casual do-rag, you know, just... I'm here with Jim Jungleman Cardell right before his big match with the world heavyweight champion Major Mayhem. How you feeling tonight, Jungle Man? I'm only gonna tell you this one time, Joan. I'm here at Slam Jam 85 to get the World Heavyweight Championship belt that rightfully belongs to the Jungle Man. What's your strategy in the ring? I'm gonna do the only thing the Jungle Man knows how to do. Pin and win! I'm gonna teach Major Mayhem who the true king of the jungle is. I'm gonna hit him with a couple gorilla slams. I'm gonna get him in the tiger's claw and make him beg for mercy. And then I'm gonna suck his dick. What? You heard me, John. I'm gonna unleash the fury of the jungle. I'm gonna become the animal 
that I truly am and attack them from every corner. He won't know what's coming besides his penis when I'm throw deep on him. Uh, here comes Major Mayhem now. Um, see what he has to say about it. Uh, uh, yeah, John, it appears as though this little jungle boy is gonna have to learn some discipline. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I am gonna have to be the one to pound it into him. Okay. But I guarantee that tonight I will finish on top. Sounds hot. Hey, come on, Jim. You can come on me all you want, Major. I guarantee you tonight I will be swallowing. You, you cannot say that. The only thing I can't say is how many times I'm going to bring you to completion in that ring tonight. Jesus Christ, there's no way I'm getting in that ring with you. Fine. You'll be like all the rest that never gave me a chance. All I ever wanted since I was a little boy was to get into that ring and give these people the greatest show on earth. And when I finally get my chance, you back down. You're a coward like all the rest, Major. Afraid to rumble in my jungle! Okay, yeah, I will take you on. I will rumble in your jungle. J jungle means my butthole. You can just have this. Yeah! Congratulations, Jungle Man. Uh, I live with uh, other comedians, and I see them at, like, open mics and shows and stuff. This show, for example, all of them are here. Um, <laughs> literally all of them. Um, so I see them at like shows and stuff more than I even see them at home. So I've started to do material just to like convey information to them. <laughs> for example, you guys, uh, you guys ever notice that dishes these days? <laughs> just piling up. <laughs> Am I the only one doing them? Is that? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on here? So, a, uh, a priest and a rabbi walk into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, whose bread is that on top of the fridge? <laughs> I've been eating that bread. Can you throw this away, Josh? Yeah. What the hell? Hey, uh, Luke? Is this your baby? Uh, what does it look like? Uh, like a person, but smaller. Oh, no, I don't have kids. George? No, I already have a baby. Huh. What's going on in here? We're getting hacked. It's impossible. We have Norton antivirus. Oh shit, our one year free trial ended yesterday. <sighs> if only they'd given us more pop-up warnings. Guys, don't even worry about it, all right? Even without Norton, we still have our wall of fire. You mean firewall? Yeah, that's what I said, wall of fire. You do know it's not an actual burning wall, right? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a series of smaller strategic fires. No! We're being hacked. It's now up to us to stop them before they reach the servers. We're the last line of defense here, people. You can either stand with me and fight, or you can die. Uh, nope, nope, that's not happening. Nobody's gonna die. Fight or die. Fight. Fight. God, you're so fucking cool, Logan. I know, Todd. Let's do this. James, I need you to find out what's been compromised. Give me an ETA on server breach. Got it. Earth Child, I need you to do a data dump. Get rid of all celebrity dick pics. Even Tom Cruise? Especially Tom Cruise. Tom, I need you to find McAfee antivirus. I think there's a free trial that comes with Adobe Reader. What's our Wi-Fi password? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, try our phone number. Oh, you know what? We don't even have one. 
That's what they'd expect. Logan, we got a problem. How did you get the Jurassic Park uh, virus? Uh, uh, Damn you, Newman. Don't worry, I got this. How's the dump coming, Earth Child? We just have too many Tom Cruise dick pics. Keep working. We can't let those see the light of day. How's it coming on McAfee time? I found this free trial, but I just don't know which download button's the real download button. Is it this one, or do you think it... Click already. Oh my god! What part of a dog is that? 30 seconds still breach, Logan. You better fix this or we're all gonna lose our goddamn jobs! Looks like I have to take matters into my own hands. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, computer's on. But it's like, it's literally a mystery to me how I've ever passed the interview process. Like the interview process is terrifying. Uh, and I am just not equipped to deal with like, things you have one chance to get right. I was trying to think of an example of something else that you have one chance to do, and I am so spoiled I can't think of another thing. I just, my life is so easy. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but in an interview, the most stressful part is when they ask if you're good at handling a high pressure situation. Whenever they ask that question, I want to be like, well, I have a follow-up question. Is there a bathroom nearby, and can I take a nap <laughs> before or during? <laughs> I'm a stress sleeper. <laughs> um, at the end of the interview, I always just want to ask, like, especially after I answer that question, I just want to be like, <laughs> no, no, thank you. Just one quick question for you, though. Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Or not. I mean, whatever. Do you, I dare you to answer it. I don't know. <laughs> Five minutes. That's what we have left until they come in here and they kick us out of this location. Five minutes. We don't have the budget to hit this again. We don't have the budget to try it again. It's this one. One shot to get the long take. One. And we can do it. So get out there and put your thinking caps on and hit your spots. Places, everybody. She's on the roof. Where is she? I've been expecting you, Detective Gable. Let her go, Bullseye. <laughs> Take your best shot. Bullseye. 
cut. I think that was the one. Feel pretty good about that. <laughs>